Hello and welcome to the fourth video of our Unreal 5 series. Today we'll be talking about mega scans. So what are these exactly? Well, they're scans of real life objects, both organic and non-organic. Megascans is from the team at Quixel and has been available for some time. However, with Epic's acquisition of Quixel, this collection of over 16,000 photorealistic assets is now available inside Unreal 5 by default. Needless to say, this is a powerful tool to have at our disposal. Capturing and creating these photorealistic assets involves a labor-intensive process called photogrammetry. Scanned from real life, this process involves taking lots of photos from various angles. The raw data is then brought into a dedicated program to stitch them together to create the 3D model. Some cleanup work is applied, and then the asset is ready to be used. This is quite the process, and is why having such a library like this is such an amazing feature. To showcase this, let's open up Quixel Bridge inside the editor and search for organic elements, such as some rocks. All we have to do is simply drag the asset in, and Unreal does all the hookups in the background. Of course, we're not just limited to rocks. There's a broad range of objects, both organic and hard surface. In fact, this scene you're looking at was entirely constructed of Megascan objects. There are also controls that allow for creative changes to fit your particular scene look. For example, if I wanted to change how shiny this rock was, or just change the color, I can change these properties and get instant feedback in the viewport thanks to the material instances that were created when dragging the asset in. As you can see, constructing environments is a great use for Megascans. In this demo file from Epic, this entire desert was created using Megascans. Used in conjunction with Nanite, this becomes a very powerful way to create environments quickly. In our next video, we're going to be looking at metahumans and how these can be used inside Unreal 5. If you want to learn more about Unreal 5, or are just interested in more videos about emerging 3D technology, subscribe to our channel.